What's up, guys? My name is Mike. Welcome back to a very special episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. We're doing our best to take back what's rightfully ours, which is all of the Middle East, including Turkey and Iraq and, pardon me, Iran, the hiccups. Um, I desperately, desperately want to fulfill our destiny as Haile Selassie I and his, um, his quest to rule the world as a rightful place as the emperors of the biggest dick empire that the world has ever seen. And so far, we've done okay on this count. It's been all right. We've taken our hits, we're taking our licks. Um, but when we're talking about dicks, you know, licks are not necessarily a bad thing. All right, so we've got our speedy guys coming up here, the premature invagulations. Uh, fastest troops that we can manage was a bunch of motorized. Manage on short term anyway, because I just didn't want to manufacture a bunch of tanks. It's a bunch of motorized infantry. They are green because we early we re deployed them too early, but that's okay. That's what I wanted to do. And uh, man, I wish we could just get some manpower going. To um... okay, so we're we're here now. We've got our guys. Let's bring them to the front lines. And let's try this. This is really going to be our last ditch effort to win the Middle Eastern Front. So cross your fingers, cross your balls, tuck your dick between your legs, and let's get going. Okay, so we have some weak guys here. Only five dudes, low organization. We're going to attack across this river. We're going to take some attrition, horrible attrition, because our dudes require, I guess, more supply lines than regular infantry. They are trying to reinforce this position. Why don't we um, hold them in place on either side of our offensive here? Make sure they can't reinforce too, too easily. Once we get across the river, it should be a little bit easier. Took some hits there. I see our organization dropped a little bit. Looks like we actually beat up the units on both sides of this, which is good. Wasn't actually expecting that. That was just uh, a feint to get him to um, back the fuck up. But it worked. Okay, so we will continue then. Maybe we'll attack from this side to help us along. Once we get across this river, it should be smoother going. As we're destroying this, um, whoever this is. Is that a Canadian troop? You fucking Canadians. The organization has dropped down to essentially zero. A couple guys left here. They continue to reinforce with low power troops. Come on. I want to break through here. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the best position to break through on, but we're here now. So let's um, fight our way up. Bring you up as well. We're fighting outnumbered. It's like four to one, three to one odds. But I think we have the organization bonus or advantage. No, it's not going as fast as I'd hoped. Okay, so why don't we um, retreat back to here? Might just have to wait for our organization to build up for a minute. Let ourselves repair. Re-equip. And then we'll look for our next... Um, attacking across the river wasn't the best... Wasn't the best thing for us. We're holding these mountains. Maybe we just make a push to the mountains. Let's get our guys over here. I mean, motorized to the mountains is not a great idea. Generally speaking. But it looks like they're starting to redeploy some troops along this border. I see 23 here. So that means they're going to be pulling some guys off here. And if we can fight through the mountains with the support of some of our foot infantry, leg infantry, it might be okay. Okay, so let's fight up here. Probably we're way over the combat with them, sure. We can knock some of them out. As so they're reinforcing. Hmm. Okay, let's get our troops out of there. Get our trucks out of there anyway. Okay, we'll park in the city for a minute. We'll wait for our organization to build back up. We need um, current manpower. Yes, yeah, the manpower we're losing out on. This is going up real slow. It's okay, we can just wait for a while. I 
Let's see, where else are they weak? They're not really weak anywhere at the moment. Got a lot of troops, and this is sort of what I was worried about. Was I feel like these are some of the European troops that are now redeploying along this border. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? Let's go into our production. We're going to cancel planes, cancel strategic bombers. Um, that'll let us um, get some of this other stuff working better. Throw our rockets to the top. Let's bring our infantry equipment down. Down. We need to re-equip our, our rockets as well. Supply. Yeah. We've got plenty of planes. We just don't have anybody to fly them. So there's no point in building more planes. Until we get there. So we'll continue to build up our rockets. Because we're, we're in a pretty big deficit for them. And we're down almost a thousand from what we need. So we're going to have to build that back up. Everything else we're good on. We can afford to take some, some losses in the other categories. Because we are building it quite quickly. And we do have some surplus. Okay, so we're almost back up to full organization. We're missing what? Still just manpower. 87%. But our organization is maxed out. I think we could fight at 87%. Question is, where do we push? There's four guys here. We come down here and just see what the what the lay of the land is. We can fight across this spot pr probably pretty easily. Three guys, that's good. Come on, leave less guys. Leave this spot. We're moving some people back and forth, I can see. Three or four we can probably take. Especially with the help of the frontline infantry, so we're going to do that. And we'll push forward like we did before. To help lock down the guys on the sides. Why don't you guys go and help out? This is so they can't reinforce. Okay, so we're able to push them back. That's good. Alright, let's grab the next spot. Push him out. These guys got pushed out too. That's badass. Now you guys help out. Mosul. Push them out. Yeah, this is a pretty good offensive so far. We'll keep those guys locked down. We're defending here. Why don't you guys walk up here? Don't want to be defending because defending is how we get slowed down. We need to get pushed to Mosul. We're just going to keep wrapping around. So if we can get around here, push these guys back. See so if we can grab an airport. Just to keep them on the defensive. That's all we're trying to do. As long as we can keep hitting them, their organization will stay all fucked up. And we can keep pushing. Overrun. See that shit? Yeah, that's what we're going for. Overrun their asses. Okay, this is not good. We have to stop. <laughs> okay, so they have a full stack of 24 here with high organization. That's going to be a problem to blow through. Now, what are we looking at over here? We're losing here. That's not good. Losing here. We've kind of scattered to the four winds. It's good and bad. Our front line is awfully stretched. But theirs is awfully stretched as well. And they're suffering more attrition than we are. We can see some of these really low organization spots. So why don't we pull back? I'm okay with defending for a bit. We'll win that. Let's let our organization build up again. We'll fight through some easy spots if we can. Maybe we'll just head right into the mountains. Oh, that 24 stack is back. Fuck you guys. Seriously, get out of here. Fuck off. Stop following me around. Um, let's see. Can we fight through here? Nope, we've got 12 guys there. Why don't we get one guy or a couple guys to take this spot? And get the fuck out of here again. I'm okay with playing a little bit of round robin with these guys. Let me come back over here. Oh, 
Oh shit, they cut us off over here. God damn it. They made a pretty big push. Okay, let's see if we can take back the city at least. We can even use our trucks to help out with that. Mechanized. Take back Aleppo. And that will cut them off. If we can succeed here. Why don't you attack into the city? Or into the mountains to keep them off our backs. You attack this one to keep that guy away from us. God damn it. Shut up with your naval invasions. There we go. Okay, so now we've cut them off, which is a much better position to be in. They be landing down to Beirut. Not a smart idea, buddy. Not a smart idea. Okay, we'll defend, and then we're going to counterattack. Take this spot. Oops, no. Didn't want... Um, Done defending this counterattack. I mean, into the mountains is not great. So maybe we'll retreat and go here and reinforce these guys. See if we can get there fast enough. With this guy, rather singular. Nope, looks like we got booted out of there. Okay. Is this spot almost undefended? It almost is. If we can get there fast enough, we might be able to just take, take this mountain spot and cut them in half. Aha, you fuckers! That's right. Okay, so where do they have their troops position? They've got 15 here. They're kind of spread out. We weren't able to go fast enough. Our troops are fast, but not that fast. They have a lot of tanks and armor as well, so they're they're using that to kind of skirt around us. Get into Aleppo. We don't want to lose Aleppo again. Okay, so let's attack into these mountains. Shit! Now we're surrounded. Okay. Back the fuck off. We need to break out. Attack down to Aleppo. Everybody converge. Oh, fuck my life. No. No. Everybody fucking converge. We need to um, break these guys out. God damn it. Come on, fight you you assholes. Fight! You pussies. You guys attack him. Wipe these tanks out and then come help. Those are holding out, just barely. Need to break out of here. Okay, all of you guys. Come up here and help out. Ah, shit. They're dead. They're dead. Uh, our trucks are gone. Wow. Okay. I'm going to take a break here. And then I'm going to decide if this campaign is worth continuing. I think we may have to call it quits. And we're going to call it a draw. But I haven't decided yet. So I got I to take some time. And, uh, and think about this and we'll figure it out. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Much love, big kisses, and we will see you very soon.